All right, HIV. So, on a serious note. Um, so I was really surprised at how many people were affected by the disease, not just in Africa, but in the U.S. as well. Um, and it wasn't just among the poor people. It was kind of like spread out evenly among um, wealth ranking. Part of the problem with solving the epidemic is um, prevention. It's obviously not obvious to everybody that when you have an STD, you're not really supposed to go sleep around with a bunch of people. So he was talking about, like, prevention is the only way that this isn't going to get worse. Right now it's at a steady state where things aren't getting worse, and it's kind of come to a point where it's level. It's not increasing, it's not decreasing. Um, but the statistics aren't changing. Um, prevention is pretty much the only way that it can be erased which is somewhat illogical, or not illogical, but just kind of impossible. But it's the most important part of the problem. But the only thing is that with keeping the HIV epidemic stabilized is that drugs are expensive. Um, it's not really that it cures the HIV in a person, because um, out of a certain number of people that were tested in Uganda, he said that only 60% were left after two years of the treatment, that the rest of them had died. So it's not guaranteed that, you know, you're going to live through it. But, yeah, drugs are expensive, and so it makes it harder for poorer countries to get a hold of the things that they need to um, take control of the spreading of it. It's also kind of, you know, just, it's part of the world that it's going to spread because people are stupid and they're going to do whatever they want even if they know that they have an SD. Um, in the last two to three years it has come to a steady state which is good because it's not increasing but it's not decreasing but at the same time it's it's still a fair amount of people that have HIV. One percent of the adult world has HIV or AIDS which is 30 to 40 million people. Holy cow. Which I think is quite ridiculous. But, um, yeah, that's just, it's kind of crazy to me because it's not, it's not something that we really think about. Those aren't like comic statistics that people know, so it's not like a, um, prevalent in the world to hear about HIV and what's going on with that issue. And then another thing that he said was that it was, it's different in Africa. It's, it's treated differently, I guess, the way that people see the disease and also just um, the way they're handling the issue. So that, you know, different parts of Africa with HIV are very different from one another. Like Uganda and Madagascar, like, could be like Switzerland and Russia, for all he knows. Like, they're, they're just, people, you know, think of Africa as a collective place that has the same problems when really it's separated into the different um, countries, uh, which is part of the problem with um, helping them contain the situation, mostly because there are much poorer parts of Africa than there are, you know, and in, in, in the U.S., and Europe and stuff, and so it's just, it's a lot different. Uh, I thought this was a really interesting topic to think about. It really does affect the development of a country, mostly because it kills off people in large amounts. And I think in terms of importance, this, I mean, it's obviously lower on the, um, the development goals. But it's still a pretty, um, pretty strong issue and something that we should probably take more interest in, especially for developing countries, those that can't like support themselves and uh, finance um, the drugs and the just treatment period. So I thought it was really interesting to go over. 
Yep. 